Bigot Hero against Emotion V12. My two favorite wheels until today for 2022. Which one is the best? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love EOCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the Bigod Hero and the Emotion V12. And I have to say to you guys that this is going to be a very, very hard video for me because I simply love both of them. They are very similar in certain things, and I have to say to you guys straight away, if the V12 had suspension on the back, the winner straight away without any thought. Overall, I think you have here two of the most interesting wheels. At least if you are like me, you are like a city rider, you can do some grass and stuff. They are very, very interesting wheels. And I've done already a lot of miles in both of them. I've done more with the Emotion V12. So here I have basically 2000 kilometers and here I have around 1000 kilometers. So just to point it out, I've been loving both of them. I had a very massive accident with the V12, but it was not the fault of the V12. I just get some mud and this tire definitely, I don't trust this tire anymore since the accident. And here also, I don't have the standard tire that you'll find on the, the Hero here. I have the Michelin CT Pro and obviously that changed completely the sensation that you have with the wheel. And if you never try to change the tire on your electric unicycle, I definitely recommend it to do it because suddenly you are, you are going to have a completely different experience and adjust that tire to your needs. Check which tires are the best for your electric unicycle. So let's start from the top. And I have to say to you guys that these two handles are basically almost the same height. They are very functional, both of them, but I have to give some points to the Bigod Hero when we talk about how sturdy this one feels compared to the V12, but it's also very, very sturdy. But in comfort, this one will feel more comfortable than this one because they have sharper edges. So definitely this feels a little bit more comfortable if you have to use it for a long period of time. Another thing that is a point in favor of the Bigod, if you want to put the jacket, obviously you have these two bars and your jacket will not fall. So have just that in mind. When we look obviously to the turn on and turn on, I have to give those points to the Bigod because this one is basically deep inside the plastic. So it's impossible that you heat. This one is very, very close to the top and it's very easy for you to just press it if you are just sitting on top and turn off your wheel. Another thing is if you want to lift your wheel in here, you just have to press the button and lift it up. So definitely that is a point that you have to give to the Emotion V12. And in here you have these steps. When we talk about the charging ports, because the charging port on the Bigot here is on the top. This one is just a normal USB 1.5 amps. In here you are going to find USB-C and USB and obviously also your charging port in there. And when we talk about chargings, obviously it's better on the Bigod Hero because you are going to find two charging ports. And when you go to the V12, the Emotion V12, you are going just to find one charging port. So if you want to do a fast charger and you have two normal chargers, you can do that with the Bigod, but you are not able to do that with the Emotion V12. Another thing that you have on the top is the beeping noise that comes through the top on the Big God Hero. Here you don't have that, but it's also possible to hear quite well. Here is going to be louder because it's just pointing directly to you. So also some points to this one. Another thing that you'll find on the top of your Big God is the sensor. So as you can see, since is dark it will turn on and turn off that is a slight disadvantage with this sensor because sometimes if you have like a very strong light in the streets during the night sometimes it can turn off the light so have that in mind in here you don't have that so you need to manually change the buttons but also it's easier just to understand which ones I have just press it because in here you need to press one two three times to just turn it off so I need to constantly look what I'm doing in here I have I have these sounds that allow me to understand what I'm doing, so I'll prefer that than in the Bigod Hero. And many times I just press it to turn on the lights and to be sure that I have full light on the Bigod Hero. So have that in mind. When we talk about the seats, obviously it's more comfortable and this have literally a seat built in on the Bigod Hero. But as I explained to you guys, this seat is not usable because the button to, to open it it's very raised so when you sit in here it just open and the wheel lose the balance so definitely not the best experience and i i can tell you it happens to me when i was in traffic so i didn't like it at all another thing that i have to say to you guys that is basically a draw is the screen 
there is some advantage on one screen to the other so if you go to the screen on the big god hero it obviously is much much bigger it's very easy to see how fast you are going what is the temperature what is the battery and what is the amount of kilometers that you've done with that wheel in here i can customize and i can put every information that i want and another thing that i never saw in any wheels i can see the time i can see which time it is so many times I'm, I'm on the traffic light and i'm not sure if i'm late to go somewhere or going to work in order to pick it up the train and it's easy for me just to go there and i don't have to lift my jacket and you know that sometimes it's difficult if you have like a motorbike jacket to see your watch and in that case i just have to look down and it tells me the time so definitely a plus so between the two i have to say to you guys that i prefer the screen on the emotion v12 even if it's so much smaller than the one that you find on the big god hero but i can put the information that i need and how i want to do everything so if you want to see how many miles you've done in that trip you can do it if you want to see the temperature you can do it so you can do whatever you want and customize the panning on the ride that you are doing another thing that i would like to see in future generations of the software is the possibility to change the rider so i have different configurations for the wheel I would love to be doing that with a Motion V12. And that's another thing that is not even comparable. When you go to a Big God wheel, you can customize almost anything. Here you can customize all the riding experience. If it's off-road, if it's commuting, if uh, you want that it tilts more on the front, more on the back, how is the braking experience, how is the acceleration experience. That is a customization that I never thought to find in any electric unicycle and they've done in a, an amazing way on the Emotion V12. On the sides, I have to say to you guys that it's a mix of sensations. So many of you guys have some issues to just glue your power pads on the top and you send me some message how I've done it. You just have to warm up your Velcro and in that way it sticks to that surface because you have this sponge sensation. But both of them, they are very comfortable. All the shape of it is very anatomic in one wheel and the other. And even the heights of the wheels, they are similar to each other. So if I put side by side, obviously we can see that the, the Hero is a little bit higher than the V12, but just slightly, not a lot okay so just have that in mind but here on the sides i'll have to give to the emotion v12 that is easier to attach my favorite power pads they are not here because i'm not being using the v12 because i'm waiting for a new motherboard i love to use my pads here on the top and if i go to the hero i'll need to try to 3d print something so i have some surface in here to attach my pads where i need it so that is a downsize on the bigot hero when we look to the back obviously in here i'm going to have the suspension this suspension it's far from good it's it's good enough and at least you have the system so if you want to spend a little bit more money you can basically buy a better suspension for your bigot hero so definitely a plus and obviously here you don't have any suspension if you go in a road that you don't know where is all the holes and all those stuff I feel safer riding the Bigod Hero because obviously I have a suspension and here I don't have it. Even that, even if this one is a 16 inch tire and I get some holes, I feel quite stable because the wheel, all the weight distribution is much, much better on the V12. So if I just turn off this wheel, you are going to see that the wheel will just start bending on the back. You see? So it's much heavier on the back. So obviously if you try to ride it on the opposite way, you'll feel that it's easier for you to accelerate. So just have that in mind. And when you go to the V12, and just showing to you guys, if I turn off, you see the wheel doesn't have that, um, it obviously goes also on the back. It's not the sensation that you have. Obviously if, if I have more here, it goes a little bit more on the front. And if I have bending a little bit more on the back, it goes on the back. But it's not this, this compensation of weight that you'll find on the Bigot Hero. When we talk about the pedals, I have to say to you guys that is even not comparable. The standard pedals that comes with the Bigot Hero, they are far superior than the ones that you find on the Emotion V12. I would love to see the Honeycomb pedals from Emotion straight away out of the box with the wheel because everyone wants those pedals. They are amazing, they are really good, but I understand maybe they do that to bring the price down. But for me, these pedals, they are here, but they are going away since I'll get the new motherboard. Another thing that is obviously a point in favor for the Big God Hero is that this one comes already with this power pad. So you don't need to buy. I have already explained on the full review why these power pads, they are very limited. Only if you have good 
shoes, hard shoes that gives you almost a sensation of skiing. Those ones are okay to sit inside here and they will give you the amount of grip and the difference between touching the front and the back is very, very good. If you just go with some trainers, it's not going to give you that sensation of safety that I'm talking about. When we talk about the front light, I really like that this one have this dim around and you don't have in here. I was expecting to see that on the Emotion V12 because I really like it on the Emotion V11. But obviously I have here three modes and here I have two modes. So you have more possibilities to choose which amount of light that you want with the V12 than com comparing to the Bigod Hero. When we talk about amount of lights that you have in front of you, it's very, very similar between one wheel and the other, but with the difference that the Emotion V12, the light is much wider, so you have more light pointing to the sides, but it's not strong enough like I would like to. To lift it up, I have to give that point to the Bigod Hero. Since I injured my shoulder really, really badly, I like the fact that I can grab with two hands like this. If I want to do the same with the Emotion V12, I need to basically grab through the pedals. So if it's the winter, you are going to dirty all your hands. So just have that in mind. When we talk about the speakers, it's even not comparable. So this is completely night and day. When you go to the Emotion V12, you have speakers coming from the front and back. You don't have the amount of bass that I would like to see, but the sound is very clear. Here is very muffy, the sound, because the speakers are inside the lights and pointing down to the body of the wheel. So not the best design in there, but just to point it out that you have music coming from the two. Here you have more bass than you have in here, but it's normal also because the sound is a little bit more muffy. When we talk about mudguard, I have already said that this is my favorite mudguard and you can see that it's very, very dirty here on the bottom, but it's not dirty where is the suspension. So the dust is not coming up to the rider. So definitely a plus. And when you go to the Emotion V12, it's not the same, okay? So the dust goes up to the rider. I would like to see a better mudguard on the V12 in future generations. They've done this a little bit longer, but it doesn't avoid that the mud goes up and all the dust goes up in direction to you, the rider of your electric unicycle. Something that I really like about this wheel that you don't have with the Bigot Hero is these bumps here that you have in front of the light and on the back. And I have to say, because I crash with this one at 40 miles per hour, it's quite damaged here around the screen, but it didn't break the screen. It just damaged the plastic here, but I was expecting to have a wheel completely broken in that day. It doesn't happen because of this rubbers they are very thick and very big that are protecting the wheel another thing that is very very interesting as you can see is how far you are from the floor with suspension and without suspension comparing obviously the emotion v12 to the bigot hero it's very very similar maybe you have here one centimeter two centimeters more with the bigot but the sensation is that you are very close to the floor whatever is the wheel that you choose to ride when we talk about the stand i like both of them but this one it's straight away there and in here I need to open it and it will sit. I have to say that the stand on the V12 is a little bit sturdy than the stand on the Hero. Okay, so the Hero is not the same. It was not really thought about it. You have just there two pieces of rubber that they are touching the floor, but they work. Okay, so these are the two best stands in my opinion, in the market out of the box. When we talk about waterproofing, I have to give that to Emotion. I think that Emotion continue to produce better wheels than this one. And obviously, if you are concerned about water, this is a hollow motor, okay? So I don't know how it is going to be those bearings after 2,000, 3,000 kilometers, they continue to be the normal bearings, okay? So it's not an, a hollow motor, so they are much smaller, so normally they are more durable. If that is a concern that you have, just have that in mind. And also, these, these bearings, they are not covered like it happens now with the Emotion V11, that they are now covered with another extra layer of rubber on top of it. When we talk about visibility, I have to give that to the Emotion V12 because you have LEDs on the sides, you have LEDs on the back, you have LEDs on the front, you have the front light, just the back, the light on the Bigot Hero is better than on this one. But at night to be visible, I feel less concerned when I'm riding with the Emotion V12. When we talk about battery, and here is my biggest complaint about the Bigot Hero, 
is that I think that the batteries that they put here, they are not high quality, like for example, a Samsung 50E will be already a better option, the ones that they are going to use on the, the Bigot Master, but you don't have in here. I think here you continue to be an LG, but I'm not completely sure, so just have that in mind also. But here you have better quality, okay? So you don't have SAG with this wheel, and this is the first time that I, I saw SAG happening in an electric unicycle. So definitely a big disappointment that I had about the Bigot here. Overall, I think that the build construction and how everything is thought on the Emotion V12 and all the technology, it's better here and you are safer with the Emotion V12 than with the Bigot Hero. But both of them are my two favorite wheels of 2022. So leave in the comments below what is your thoughts about these two wheels. If you have one, what you think about it. And if you want me to compare one of these wheels with another wheel, or if I didn't cover something, let me know in the comments below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.